Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. Today, I want to share with you something that was very early on in my journey, as far as my personal development journey, that was shared with me by the late, great Jim Rohn. It was a saying, it was a, a quote that he had, that when I learned this and I began to internalize what it meant to me and then tried to then go to work and applying it to my own life, it 100% changed the trajectory and the outcome and where I'm headed, where my family's headed. Everything changed when I discovered this quote from Jim Rohn. So if you're not following or haven't followed Jim, he's been gone now for quite some time, which is unfortunate. He left us early here, but at the same time, his work is, you can find it, meaning you can find different uh, speeches and things that he gave on the internet. You can find things on YouTube. He still has a few books that you can uh, download. You can go to jimrohn.com and you can find different audio programs. And I would highly recommend you dive in to uh, the things that he delivers. It, without further ado, let's dive in. So the quote that he shared with me, and this came from the, the program, uh, challenge to succeed. So go find that program. I just, the challenge to succeed by Jim Rohn. It's fantastic. He shared this quote inside of that program is, is that in order to have more, you must first become more. And in order to become more, you must begin working harder on yourself than you do on your job. And at that time, when I first heard that, and let me repeat that one more time. In order to have more, you must first become more. And in order to become more, you must work harder on yourself than you do on your job. When he said, <laughs> I'll never forget one of the first times I'd heard that. And it was just like, wow. So all my life leading up to this point, uh, to this time frame in my life, I had been taught and I had just believed, right? This was a, a deep down belief that I had that all I needed to do was to just work hard, work, and I mean physically work hard, work hard, grind, uh, do what I was told, show up every day. And those things are not, I'm not discounting what those things are. Those are very important uh, traits, right? Different, very important habits to have. But I was doing all of those things, and I had been doing those things for probably close to 20 years, and I was not, nowhere near where I wanted to be, where I thought I could be. And as I mentioned, I struggled to find out what that was. Why was I, what was I missing out on? And this quote set me on a journey to realize that it was a discovery within myself was the secret, not something outside of me. It wasn't my going to work hard every day in the job that I had. It was working harder on myself, working harder on me to become the person that I wanted, that I wanted to be, right? The, become the, the great father, to become a great husband, to become a great friend, to become an entrepreneur, to become a great salesperson, to become a podcaster, to become, now I'm a great, uh, well, I consider myself a great, uh, a grandfather, right? I, wanted to, I want to be a great grandfather. Now you have to become those things. And so let's, let's dive in and let's pick apart that word becoming a little bit further, because when I first heard that, and you might be thinking the same thing, it's like, okay, yeah, I hear you, but how do you become something? And this is where the rich mind podcast is. This is exactly why I've created this podcast to help you in that journey of realizing that it's an internal flipping. It's an internal work. You need to go to work on your thoughts you need to go to work on your current set of beliefs. And when you go to do that, I, I promise you it's going, at least it was for me, the hardest work I've ever done in my entire life. The last, let's call it 10 years of focusing in on me, going to work on me to understand why do I think certain ways? Why do I believe in certain things? Why did I think the only way and the, and the best way to become successful was to just go to work and work hard and work long and work? Uh, it was just exhausting. Why did I, why did I believe that? Why is it that it felt like money was hard to attract? Why, why was I repelling people in my life? Why was I not feeling like I was living up to the expectation of being a great father, a great husband? Why, why, why? When you begin to ask yourself that question, why are you not 
and you fill in the answer to that question. Why are you not achieving a level of success that you want in your life? It reflects back onto you that it's the internal battle. It starts inside. You become inside in changing your thoughts, in changing your beliefs, in changing your habits that is going to then begin to reflect back out from an outside experience into your own life. So let me just give you a little bit of an example. So for example, when I discovered this, in order to, to have more, you must first become more. In order to become more, you must work harder on yourself than you do on your job. When I first heard that, I made the decision that I was going to spend as many of my waking moments outside of my quote unquote job at that point, working on myself. So what did I do? I went out and found different programs, different audio programs. I started studying uh, some of the greats that are currently alive in our, in our society today that are sharing different ways of looking at life. If you're struggling with the way you believe in your perception, your current reality, what I, I would say is that, that just because it's in your current reality doesn't mean that it's, it's true. What I mean by that is because you're receiving and, and through your perception of your five senses, right? Your, your see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Just because you're experiencing that in your 3D world doesn't mean that it's necessarily true. So what you have to do is then begin to question, why are you experiencing those things in your life? For me, when I was growing up, my father would tell me all the time because he was living this, this reality himself that I needed to go to work for a solid company and I just needed to stay with that company basically my entire life. I just needed to keep going through the process of working and grinding and doing whatever it took to get to the end of this, this perceived rainbow of quote unquote retirement life. And that would be the secret to living a, a wonderful life. He was doing that. He was trying to do that himself. Uh, we actually worked both worked at the same company for a very long time. And the unfortunate part for him is that in his mid to late fifties, the company that we were working for, the company that he had invested, I think it was close to 30 years of his life, maybe 2025. I don't remember exactly the exact number, but it was a very significant amount of his life. He had invested his time, his energy, all of his creativity. It was just in a total investment. This company made the decision. It was all of a sudden, I'll never forget that they just came in and decided they were going to eliminate the position that he had. And my father living with the belief that all he needed to do was show up, work hard, be a good employee, do what he was told. All of those things were completely thrown out the window. And he was, he didn't know what to do. I'll never forget. We had many conversations about it. Son, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? And I'm, and I'm like, dad, I don't know. Cause this is how you've taught me to be. So then I realized in myself, because at that same time frame, as I mentioned, we were both working for the same company. My dad's position was completely eliminated. He was basically fired. My store, I was, it was a retail grocery chain. My store was being closed down, meaning they just were shutting down locations because of hard times, right? The business wasn't doing well. I didn't lose my job. They moved me to a different location. But the point is, is that my life was disrupted as well during the same time frame. And I'm looking at him going, dad, you told me this is exactly what I needed to do. And this is exactly not what I needed to do, obviously, right? I was getting some feedback in my external world that this is not the way to get things done. So I didn't know what to do. And that's where I went to the library. And that's where I found the book, Retire Young, Retire Rich by Robert Kiyosaki. And that's when I found Lead the Field by Earl Nightingale. And that's where I found Jim Rohn and The Challenge to Succeed. That's where I found the mentors. And the there some of them are alive. Some of them have already passed, but those folks, and they're still pouring into my life every day. I'm working every day as hard as I possibly can to become the person, the vision that I see for myself. Looking back on that, I believe I was in my mid thirties at this point when that happened to me uh, about 15 years ago, I was nowhere near where I am today. And obviously we're all, we're all growing, right? That's the whole, another point too, is that we cannot keep We've got to continuously look to grow and we grow from within. 
And that brings us the exterior, uh, the environment that we have, right? So had I stayed in that mentality of, I just needed to work harder and grind and just keep going through the motions and all that stuff, what would have happened is I just would have stayed, whether it was with this company or the company I was working with or with a different company, right? I just would have gone into the same pattern of just working hard, working hard, working hard. And eventually it wouldn't have paid off anywhere there either. So I went to work on becoming more. So becoming better at controlling my internal thoughts, challenging those internal dial that internal dialogue, those internal beliefs, uh, all of the things that we've been fed uh, through our young age years, right? Whether it was with school, whether it was with our parents, uh, my parents did the best that they possibly could. The thing that the, the, the crazy thing is about my story, and I love to share this piece, is that I was as I was beginning to learn uh, the different things that I was learning, right? So I dove in head first. I was consuming as much content as I possibly could as quickly as I could. And everything I was learning was brand new. And so I was super excited and I couldn't wait to share it with anybody. And I didn't have necessarily a whole lot of people to share it with other than uh, my my family, right? My wife, uh, my kids were a little young at the time. So I didn't necessarily share a lot with them. But the only other person I could share it with was my father. And we didn't have a great relationship growing up, right? We didn't, yeah, we didn't have a great relationship. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. But what I will tell you is that I, as I was discovering these ideas and these concepts and the challenging my own beliefs, and I was then sharing that information with him, he was then being able to see the things that I was seeing, which was super, super exciting. It was something that I didn't know because uh, it was even possible. He began seeing things in a different light, which is exactly what I was having the experience in my own life. And because of that change in experience, because we were both becoming more, we were able to relate with each other a lot more than we had ever done up until that point. He, and so at the, the point, I guess what I want to make with that point with my father and, and sharing that with him is that I realized that the reason why he didn't share it with me and the reason why you might not be a, you know have the awareness uh, that I'm trying to encourage you to have as well is because no one has shared this information with you. My father didn't know. I know for a fact that if he would have been taught and shown these things as, as he was growing up into his life, I know for a fact he would have shared this information with me, which is exactly why I want to share it with you. If you're not aware that there's a different way of being, a different way of becoming, a different way of just approaching life, then I hope that this message, the podcast, everything I'm trying to produce here will help you just understand. Just it's, I just want to change just the way you're thinking just a little bit. It doesn't have to be an abrupt change. Just challenge some of the thoughts, some of the beliefs that you currently are stuck in. And I would believe, or I believe that when you do that, you'll then begin start to experience a different reality in your life as I did. It's going to take some time. It's not going to be overnight. But if you go to work and work harder on yourself than you do on your job, I promise you, you're going to experience a much, much more fun, uh, exciting, uh, just a great, greater life than you could have ever imagined in the past. So folks, I hope you found this message valuable today. I just wanted to get on here and share with you. So Jim Rohn has been a huge influence on my life. And as I mentioned earlier in, in the uh, message today, if you haven't Look for Jim, do that. Take some time, just do a basic Google search. You will find content that, I mean, it's it's older now, obviously he's been passed for a little bit, but it's a timeless message that if you take what he shares and you internalize it, you need to internalize it. You need to think how you can apply these ideas and concepts into your life. And if you do that the way I have, I promise you, you're gonna start experiencing a better and different life than you could have ever imagined. So go out there, find Jim Rohn, and uh, I highly encourage you to do that. So hopefully you found this message valuable today. If you have, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing it with your family and friends, sharing it with anybody that you can, that you think that would find value in the message, I would greatly appreciate that. So I appreciate you being here today. I look forward to coming back with the next message again to you very soon. Until then, have a great day now. Bye-bye.